Fizzy B from Massachusetts, New England, and it's a frigid cold outside, and there is snow on the ground, finally. And being from New England, very weird not to go this long without snow, but we finally got some. It did not make my day, or the end of my day. Very exciting, having to drive home before the snow plows came and cleared the roads. Anyway, but the beginning of my day was amazing. And that's what I want to kind of share and talk about. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Greg That Dude and Pension Pennies and Saving with Veta and 21 Lawanda and I can never say this right, but BM Shank something something who works at CVS. Anyway, I have been working like a mad woman at my job for the last five days. And all I really wanted to do when it comes to couponing this week is get that scrub and bubbles deal because I got me some dirty, nasty toilets with two boys, preteen boys and a teenage girl. And I just need me some scrub and bubbles. So I've been on the mission to try and find them. Haven't found them anywhere. Didn't go to Lowe's yet. And I think I'm going to do that but that's at the end of the video. So I've been watching the videos about Family Dollar and I've never shopped at Family Dollar before, ever, ever, ever. Like not even before I couponed. And I've only been couponing since November of last year. So I took the opportunity today, got up early, got my hair did, got me some new red highlights and I'll go into that too because I got me some secret stash hidden behind some blonde John Frieda's ready for me to pick up tomorrow. Anyway, I um, I wanted some scrubbing bubbles. And one of the reasons I wanted them is because both my husband and I work many late nights, many early days, and we very rarely have time to clean the house. And we're trying to teach our kids responsibility, but it doesn't always happen. So I wanted a backup plan. I'm thinking these things are the best thing since bologna and cheese. So... I go into Family Dollar, my first adventure ever, and, you know, I'm walking in all confident, like, yeah, I'm going to get me some scrubbing bubbles. I'm walking back to the, you know, back of the store because I'm not really sure where the heck to go because I'd never been there. So I'm just walking in all confident, strolling, walk down one aisle, walk down the other. Next thing you know, I'm in the back of the store, and that's where I find all the cleaning supplies. But in front of the shelves are piled high boxes and I'm thinking to myself gosh I stumbled on delivery day yes Thursday at my family dollar is delivery day sweet bonus so then I start looking at the shelves and I can't see the product on the shelves because the boxes so then I'm like sneaky sneaky I'm like moving them off the side I'm scooting them away digging down low looking for stuff can't find anything Except for the cans, which I don't want. I don't want the cans of scrubbing bubbles. Who wants the can of scrubbing bubbles? That means you actually have to work. I want something to work for me. I work hard enough. I want something to work for me. So I can't find anything on the shelves with the yellow stripe down the front in a box. So then I'm like, okay, there's got to be something in one of these boxes. So then I start digging through the boxes. And I'm pushing them aside. I'm pushing one aside. Digging through, opening up one that's not labeled. Thinking something's hidden. There's got to be something here. It's delivery day. There's got to be something. Nothing. So, all right. I grab nothing. Walk to the front of the store. And as I'm walking out, I see the little, I don't know, little stand there with the coupons on it and around right by the register and whatever and I'm looking and I'm like oh these are the coupons that I've heard people talk about so I'm I'm flipping through them like oh yeah oh yeah and then I'm looking around the store I'm like oh wait I gotta come back here yeah I know I gotta go to work but I'm gonna come back here on my day off because I got I got coupons for that and oh crud there's the Palmers and I got coupons for that and so I'm starting to pick up the flyer at that little place where they have a flyer at the front. And next thing you know, I'm overhearing the conversation that's happening in the front. And there was like two or three cashiers and what I'm going to assume is the supervisor or the manager on duty that night or day. And she's like, okay, it's delivery day. We've got stuff to do and, and over here and you do that and you do that. And I'm 
trying to sneak off a couple of coupons. And it's my first time in Family Dollar, General Dollar, wherever the heck I'm at. And I'm like, okay, I can't grab a stack. That's not a good idea. So <laughs> putting in one, putting in two. They're looking away and putting in three, four. And then the manager kind of stops and looks at me, and she sees my bag with my binder in it. And I'm like, hi, I was just wondering, um, off chance, do you have any scrubbing bubbles? Like with the yellow stripe down the front, like those starter kits? And she's like, yes, I do. Are you the person that called me earlier today? And I'm like, no. And she just starts laughing. And she goes, let me guess, you have a coupon for them. And I'm like, yes, I do. Um, I just want to get, you know, one or two. And she's like, well, how many do you really want? I'm like, four, please, pretty please. And she's like, she starts laughing. And she goes, I got mine last week. Can't fault a couponer for coming in and wanting some. So let me go get them. So then I'm starting to dig through my binder. And I'm like, oh, crud, I forgot to clip them. But wait, at the bottom of my coupon bag, I always keep, like, my stack of stuff. I'm not like some people with a basket and just put them in a big, like, recycling bag and what carry it around. I know I'm a freak, but way behind in my clipping. Anyway, I'm digging through them, and I'm at a register that's closed. I'm, like, moving everything off, all the little stuff they have displayed. I'm, like, ripping out coupons, trying to figure out where the coupon is because I know I have them. I have all my coupons with me. I know I have them. So I'm finding them, I'm finding them. She comes out and she's like, are you ready? I'm like, oh, give me just one second. I'm just going to get the rest of the coupons. So she puts the box down. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, she brought me out a whole case. So I'm clipping them, I'm sorting them. I open up the box, there's only four, which God love her and God love that customer that's going to get <laughs> not the two that I asked for. So I go to the cashier and I'm like, okay buying four and she's like okay well let me see your coupons so I handed the coupon she's like okay and doesn't even look at the coupons doesn't even say anything to me nothing like doesn't examine the coupons doesn't go and who are you and why do you coupon no attitude nothing she's just like calm cool collected she's like ringing them up and they're ringing up funny prices like five fifty five something and I'm looking at them going oh my gosh I don't even think I have enough cash on me right now to pay for these um Mm, mm, might have to return one, Ugh, which would have killed me. So I'm handing her the coupons, and next thing you know, she's scanning the coupons, and it's going down, going down, going down, and then she scanned the last coupon, and there was like a foreign change, and all of a sudden it became zero. Zero. That's right. I said it. Zero. First time ever. I can't even tell you how excited I was when I walked out of that store. And I'm all like giddy, happy, co lucky. I wanted to click my heels up, walk around, do a little boogie dance. I wanted to just like scream and holler. And I was like, who am I going to call? Who am I going to call? Thing is, is, I don't have any friends that coupon. Nobody thinks it's worth their time. Everyone in New England is way too busy to do anything. And some of us are couponers, but they're like, not worth my time. Eh, I don't need that. Whatever. I don't have any friends that coupon. And when I talk to my friends about couponing, they're like, oh God, that, uh, you're crazy. You're, you know, you're out of control. And when they come to my house and they look at my stockpile, they're like, I don't know where you find the time. I don't know how you can do it. Oh, by the way, can I have one of those? Um, I really could use some dishwashing soap. Can I have one? So of course I'm the supplier of the neighborhood, but I'm going to get them hooked. I'm going to get them hooked. So anyway, I'm getting in my car and I'm putting them in. I'm getting ready to go to work and I'm going, who am I going to call? I'm way too excited. I cannot walk into work and just talk to my peeps about couponing because everyone already already thinks I'm crazy. So, oh, I'm thinking to myself, <coughs> I'm not going to make this quick. Who am I going to call? I called my husband, who, again, thinks I'm crazy. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm shopping. He's like, what do you shop for? I'm like, scrubbing bubbles. He's like, we have enough cleaning supplies. Why are you buying more cleaning supplies? I'm like, because they're free. Well, what are they anyway? They're cleaning the toilets, and we don't have to do anything. You just kind of hook them up. Well, are they septic friendly? Yes, honey. And in New England, if you don't know what septic is, I'll explain it in another video. I'm like, yes, they are. He's like, fine, good. But we're not telling the kids, because those kids need to learn how to clean toilets. I'm like, yes, honey. FYI. He works for a plumbing and heating supply company, so he's all about cleanliness of his bath, cleanliness of his bathroom and kitchen and stuff like that. So, 
And God knows I bought that man enough axe and old spice and body wash and hair stuff that he is going to be fine for the next 10 years. But when I told him I bought cleaning supplies, he was like, all right, babe, you done good. You done real good. Maybe next Sunday I'll go out and get those papers for you instead of sleeping in bed making you get up and get them. I'm like, oh yeah, you're getting me my papers next week and I'm not cleaning nothing. He's like, I don't think so. You're not going that far. Anyway, that's my story. I got me some scrubs and bubbles. I can't believe I got them. And I haven't gone to Lowe's and I think I have about three or four more coupons left. So I'm going to try the Lowe's deal. I'm going to post it. Hopefully I'll get lucky. I don't know. This may be a once in a lifetime deal. I can't believe I actually got something for nothing. I can't believe I got it for nothing. It's like the first time ever for me. And I've been couponing since November. I've always had to pay out of pocket something, tax, or I got a reward back that balanced off the money that I got. But this time, I literally walked into a store with coupons, bought items, gave them coupons, paid nothing. Because Lord knows I had nothing in my wallet. So, thanks for watching pretty much nobody because I have no subscribers, but maybe one day I will. And I hope this gives somebody some kind of insight if they look back through the archives because I'm hoping to make more videos. Anyway, thanks again to all my mamas and my papas and my aunties and my uncles. And you all know who you are. I'm going to shout you out every single time from A to Z. And, um... Happy couponing. Now nah, somebody already says that. Um, go get you some. That's going to be my thing. Go get you some. Get your bums out there. Go get you some. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.